everyone, and welcome to a Quick Shot June edition. With me, of course, is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, man, your voice was like all over the place there. <laughs> but, uh... So with me, of course, is Super Bad Juju, which I didn't even get to say his name before I started dying. Oh my god. So we are another... it's, it's like yeah, you had two separate ideas there for like how you wanted that, that voice to go and like switch halfway through. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Hoon Balloon in chat. Seeds has lost his damn mind. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is uh, game four we're looking at. Right now it's 2-1 in favor of NDG. We've got the dropship coming in. Uh, we're not seeing the monster's perspective right now because uh, we're trying something different here. Uh, we're going to be seeing it 100% from the hunter point of view. So let's see if Seeds is uh, with us yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you right now. It's just, oh man, I'm just recovering. I'm starting to breathe again. So we're seeing right now, we're seeing the power of Gobi as we're seeing the outline just coming forward and letting them know exactly where the monster is. However, Veracor right now is in a little bit of trouble. He does see him right now as he is heading towards the, I think it's the south region of the map. Yeah, it's the south region. As the monster right now is trying to get some space between him and the hunter team. And he's just trying to lock it down ahead towards the southwest portion of the map, by the looks of it. I'm guessing yeah, it's, a, it's always tricky on this map because you know uh, you head this way the the feeding routes aren't as good I don't think um, but you don't run the risk of getting cornered uh, as easily as if you you know head, head more towards the north of the map there yeah if you go towards the north section you have a guaranteed dome as opposed to down here where you can kind of dink around a little bit however we have Veracor getting locked down oh no is he gonna be able to oh no he's not gonna be able to get it oh no oh no 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 oh he oh. got it the last second <laughs> oh my god. I, did he let him up so he could uh, get No, he got shot by Hank. Team? Okay, I thought he might have been being a good sport there. No. Uh, he got sh he got shot by Fresh and Fresh decided like Fresh just got him at the last second. So it looks like Deanimate's going to be mitigating at this point, which means it's time to hide him again. Oh, uh, yeah, there's Gobi. Why am I even trying? So they're not going to have those shenanigans this time. Looking to go forward. We have Flames coming out and we have nice little pot shots coming out of the air from Veracor. Looking to see if he can get a leap and here it comes in a moment. Here comes that leap. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. I know it's there. And Just give it to you me. You know, he's actually got a pretty good dome to mitigate in right now. Um, just just by virtue of the height of these cliffs, you know. Uh, it's not the best, but uh, he definitely can make... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, I Orbital thought he could fit back there. I thought he was going to get stuck. <laughs> That's always awkward when you decide to step on the bottom of a dome. It's like... Most <laughs> certainly. So we're going at it right now. They are starting to break through armor. Laser cutter coming right on through. Going to be getting through a little bit of damage. Flame Kyra. Only Kyra available to conjugates right now. As he's right now trying to mitigate. And he's just getting burned alive by our good old buddy Kyra. And also a big old shout out to Moira who decided to appear in chat today. All hail Moira as we have a Q Kyra variant coming up soon. And Moira I'm sure is going to master it first thing when it re gets released. Oh, most certainly, most certainly, and you know we saw those uh, those those napalm grenades there doing like 45 direct damage, man. It, it matters, man. It adds up, and they were able to get through almost an entire bar of HP for the first dome. Against the enemy, that's pretty good standard is getting one bar in the first dome almost. That's pretty good considering how mitigation yeah, heavy he plays. Yeah, the enemy doesn't tend to go all in. You know, they, they prefer to play more conservatively and bide their time. And, uh, you know, if you're just getting any damage in on him when he's trying to play the mitigate game, that counts. The good thing about Crow as well, especially against a mitigation heavy monster, is his ability to shoot through armor. So even if they mitigate, you're always guaranteed health damage. So if, you're not, if you don't think you're going to break armor, just start doing those charge shots all day. For sure, for sure. It's always a, a tricky situation sometimes trying to figure out whether or not, you know, you should go for the charge shots or just try and help your team break that armor down. Because, you know, sometimes it can be infuriating you get a crow on your team and they're just charge shotting all day. And it's like, dude, if you help me get this armor down, we can get far more damage in during this dome right now. Yeah. It's one of the things you have to make that choice. And it's a this choice that you, I, that you, funny enough, have to make at the start of the dome where you have to make that decision. And right now we are actually at that point in a dome where you have to make that decision. And it looks like they are choosing to go with the straight quick shots which deal more damage to armor but don't deal direct to health. And here we have Flame Kyra coming out, laser cutter poking. Oh no, here we go. All the shots are being fired, trying to see what they can do. And they're just locking them down. Oh and man, the three of them circling in on them. The pain's being brought down. Veracor's getting knocked into the acid. And he's just choosing to jump right back, trying to see what he can grab. Rockets picked up, thrown over. Does go straight to Veracor, does hit him right in the face. And he's gonna get burned for a little bit afterwards. 
You see, this is what one team comp that, you know, if you're not pushing hard against them, you're actually going to take more damage, you know? Like like last game, he was able to mitigate, but with against a team with a, a Hank with a pinpoint accurate high damage laser cutter, as well as the ability to drop those uh, orbitals and whatnot, uh, you're, you're really mitigating can sometimes cause you to take more damage. Also, speaking of health damage, the first person to deal health damage was, in fact, our flame aggro Kyra. So that's something to keep in <laughs> mind at this point. And right now, the R almost through their second bar of HP as the R on a stage two deanimate, who's going to be looking to head towards the south region of the map, crossing over through the midsection and trying to get himself across. However, he is currently stasis, which is going to slow him down immensely while the other team accelerates to keep up their pursuit. It looks like he's going to try and get a little bit of armor for his run to the other side of the map right now. And, uh, oh, Ooh. I hate when that happens. Oh, oh. And that bird comes through, taking a piece off him. That's like double pain right there. So we're looking right. at right now, uh, one thing you will notice is that we have not been showing perks, and that's just strictly because this is live with no delay. So if you're wondering, you can probably guess what the perks are based off what they're doing. Uh, based off of this, I could probably guess it's either traversal or movement speed. But hey, we're that's a just a theory, an evolved theory. <laughs> Anyone who gets that reference, I see thank what you. you did there. Yeah. I see what you did there. Their uh, Five Nights at Freddy's videos were, were quite interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he does a great job. Yeah, game theorists for anyone who's curious. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's interesting. What do you think of me trying to bring the sneak play out against a Gobi team? That's always a ballsy move. Well, Gobi actually missed when he was thrown, so he didn't get revealed. However, on the loop, as soon as they turned, they did actually turn to take a peek, and they did actually see him there, which is a quick call out from Veracor. So. And it looks like doubling back right now. Is is that what I'm seeing here? Yep. It looks like he's going back over to where the dome was previously, trying to finish up his evolve meter and get himself up. He is full armor and ready to engage, but he wants to have his full evolve meter. That's going to be the rough point at this point. And he's just trying to mitigate and push right through. Did they actually get the dome? Yes, they did, which means it's time to see full battle barrel. Full battle mode, everyone. Let's keep going. Rocket's picked up. Thrown over. Does go right over the head of balance. It doesn't quite connect. Looking to see what happens. We have him going right through. Oh, man, and that's it. Coming in, you know, smashing him down there, which buys him some time to, to go in hard on uh, Kyra back here for a few. Mega Mouth comes in, grabs one. It goes in harder than Deanimate does, but hey, who am I to judge? <laughs> We're looking at it right now. We do have a dome right now in effect. He is going to be bouncing back oh, and forth. No. Oh, no, Orbital's coming down. He has to get out of there quick before the rest of it comes down. There it goes. Just barely make it in time. Balance is on the run, however, getting shielded and healed. Kanju and Fresh doing a great job keeping Balance alive, who's not only tanked a Mega Mouth, but also a Rock Throw, and who knows what else is dome. And uh, it looks like, you know, he doesn't have any kind of loops or anything like that. And uh, we are seeing a Thunder Child come in there. Big smash. Looking to see what they can get damage-wise. Not quite able to do anything at this point. As right now we have a Deanimate choosing to engage. And it is dome time is over. It is time for the pursuit. As right now off he goes. Running off into the distance. That's the sound of the two-minute timer beginning. So the two-minute timer has stopped. He has two more minutes to finish up and wrap things up. However, of course, it does stop if he does take damage. Or if combat is initiated between the two teams. Gobi, of course, getting the outline. So they're going to jump up. Poke at him a little bit. And stop that timer a little bit. Whittle down that armor. Make him go a little bit further on his food. Now we do see the Thunder Child leaping forward, trying to get up that distance as he is going to be looking at him over towards that southern region, trying to poke at him, doesn't quite get the shot as we're looking at Deanimate getting some food in the south side. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little deja vu with this match right here. It's uh, looking pretty similar to our, our last match. I mean, here we have Deanimate, no strikes yet, down two and a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, However, I, I he is stage we're... two currently, and oh, the three. dome... Yep. Yeah, now he's stage three, of course. As soon as I say something, he... Right? You oh, my it. God. So, Dome's going to be off cooldown in a brief second, so they might actually get the Dome with no armor again, which could be a key factor going forward because he is about to get caught in a corner. Yep, and there he is. Dome is now off cooldown, and we'll have to see what they do at this point. Do they get take the Dome early, or do they look to try and pick him off? He is getting yeah. off armor behind their building right there, trying to lock it down, going to see what they can grab. It's a good area if they want to dome them here. I've always enjoyed play, you know, fighting monsters over here, especially because of those uh, those two tanks down towards the bottom. And it looks like he's going to choose to not throw it. He's just trying to get himself into a position, throwing out Gobi and getting that line of sight, trying to see what happens. But in the meantime, we'll wait on that dome as we're looking over at Lennox, doing a great job with the pepper shots, trying to get a poke. Rockets thrown up does not connect on the high ground. Oh, no, it does do a little bit of damage with the burn. Looking to see what they can get. And here comes the engagement right now as we are going to be going in. 
They're looking at the fight. Everything's going forward. Everything's coming up. Millhouse at this point bounces on the low ground, trying to see what's going on. Conjugates having to burn the heel burst. Grabs two balance just on the bare clip of the radius. And here we go. Stealth bounce is coming in. But here comes Thunderchild with a leap in, telling, saying, hey, don't you pounce, my friends. Here comes the burn, though. Conjugates not being able to stay up. Fresh did not have line of sight. Locked by the building. Not able to throw it. Dome is still not thrown. It is still off cooldown and ready to be tossed at any point in time. Does not throw it and waits. Oh, no. Oh. Came so close to getting the save right there. They tried to cut him off, but they just couldn't do it. That's and a second he's going game. in hard right now in two bounds. He does not have a medic to keep him up. I think we're going to see two bounds going down. Uh, from here on out, this this could be the end of it if the animate plays it right. And right now we do see that Fresh is on the run. Balanced is down and on the ground in cap. Barracor is stealth pass. It's definitely a rough situation, so we'll have to see what exactly goes on. But that's a second that second game where Balanced has tried to throw a medic saving throw. Literally a medic saving throw. And mm -hmm. had it come just barely miss. That's a tough thing to do. I mean, I gotta give him credit for even coming close on those. And down goes Fresh, quickly with the Stealth Bounce, Charge, Rock Throw combo. Gonna be putting him in the dropship, making it a 2-2 tie in this best of five. Deanimate just bringing that Goliath pain. So we'll have to see what exactly happens, and there's no spoilers, because it literally just happened. This is true. This Game is wasn't true. even over yet. So, <laughs> not a spoiler? <laughs> literally just ended, so hey. But that's we're the end of that match, which means it's time for a tiebreaker. Yep, we're doing it live. There's almost no delay. Woo! So anyway, that's it. That's all for this round. This is end of match four in a best of five. Bringing the score to 2-2 two, two in favor of Monster Victories, which is something we haven't seen in a competitive team, especially with like teams of this caliber, in a long time. So hey. Yeah, it's good to see the balance kind of shifting back around for a little while. You know, for a while there, it was real tough going on Monsters. And, uh, you know, all, all things considered, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the balance currently. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to see what exactly goes on. We are in match at the end of match four, and we are going to match five. And at best of five, so we'll have to see what exactly happens in the tiebreaker, what they choose. Uh, for those of you that know, before we conclude this video, let's... Actually, no, we'll go over it at the beginning of the next one. That way you guys can get full details then. But in the meantime, so if you're a new to play, let's go to the next video in the place. If you're watching live, then stay tuned because nothing's really happening. I'm just kidding. There's lots happening. <laughs> gonna, we're going to have that full discussion and all that jazz. So stay tuned and stay frosty, and we'll be back in a sec with more games coming at you in just a sec. And make sure to check out Super Bad Juju.